Hello everyone, I am Nehal from WS Cube Tech and in this particular video will talk about the group by. So we are going to see that how you can just make use of this group by in Pandas. So this group by is nothing but it is a simple concept which simply says that what we are doing over here is we are creating the group of categories and then we are going to apply the functions over these categories. So I will just jump over to my PyCharm and we will just uh, explore this thing with the help of an example. So you can see over here that uh, I have just imported this particular library that is pandas which is mandatory in order to just uh, uh, work with pandas right. So I've just imported this library and I've given the allies name as pd over here and this is my data over here. So we have already seen that how we can just uh, create data because uh, uh, I need to put this data uh, inside my data frames uh, okay. So what I've done is uh, uh, this is my dictionary over here. Okay, so these are uh, my keys. So uh, this is my name and I am having this uh, value. Okay, so these are my values. Similarly, I have the subject as my key over here and these are nothing but this is uh, its values. All right. And uh, similarly, I am having this third key over here that is my marks and I am having this values over here. So this key is that is name, subject and marks. These are going to be my columns in my uh, data frame. So I'm just going to create a data frame and we know how we are going to create that thing. So what I'm simply going to do over here is I'm just going to say that pd dot and data frame. And inside this, I'm just going to say data is equal to and I will just put that as data. So I will just uh, make this as data one so that it doesn't uh, uh, create a confusion over here. All right. So this is my data one and I have just uh, put that thing inside my data frame. Okay. And I will just store this inside a variable. So this is my df is equal to. And I will just print my df now. Okay, so let's take a look over our data frame. So this is how our data frame looks like. So I've already told you guys that uh, this name, subject and marks will act as your uh, column over here. Okay, and this is our index over here. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 over here. All right, and these are some of my values over here. So the Tina is there, her uh, physics marks are there. Then I have one more Tina over here with her maths marks uh, uh, with this respective marks over here. Now I want to just group by okay so what I'm simply going to do is I will just say that uh, df dot group by okay and uh, you need to pass here like uh, uh, by what you want to group by so I want to say group by by name okay so I'm just going to pass that uh, column name over here all right and if I just see if I just put this inside my print method over here so you will see that it will just uh, return me an object at that particular address so you can see that it has given me this object okay so this is data frame group by objects and this is at some memory location over here okay so what i'm simply going to do is i will just put this inside a variable okay so uh, let's call this as this is my group by by name so i will just say group by underscore name okay so i'm just going to store this thing and the next step over here is what I'm simply going to do is I will grab this uh, object over here and I will just say dot groups. All right. And I will just print this thing. And if I just run this thing over here, so you will see uh, uh, that it has grouped by this thing. Okay. So what it has done over here is that now this uh, uh, Rahul is the name. Okay. So you can see Rahul over here and Rahul is over here as well. So it has grabbed that 1 and 5 index over here. Similarly with the Rohini you can see over here. So Rohini is 1 over here and the uh, right next to it is there. So it has grabbed that 3 and 4 over here. And similarly for the Tina, okay. So uh, we are having this Tina here and here as well. So it has grabbed 1, uh, 0 and 2 over here. So it has grouped by this thing, okay. So this is what group by uh, does, okay. Now, as I have already told you at the starting that what we do, we, we are just grouping this thing, okay, uh, into a category and then we are going to apply some functions over this. So the functions which I uh, mean to say is the aggregation function over here. So what I can simply do over here is that now I will just uh, remove this thing and what I will do, the aggregation functions I will apply. So say, for example, I want to do sum, okay. So I'm just going to do that sum over here. And now if I just run, oh, run this thing, so you can see that depending upon the name uh, and this particular sum will be done on the numeric values. All right. So uh, sum is applied on the mark section over here. So what has it has done over here is now we are having this Rahul. Okay. So Rahul is present over here and Rahul is present over here. 
So this is at 40 and this is at 50. So 50 plus 40 is 90. Okay, so it has done the sum of that thing. Because we are doing the uh, group by the name itself. Then in the second case, this Rohini is there. Okay, so Rohini is over here, this thing. So 90 plus 40 is 130 over here. Okay, and similarly for Tina, you can see here, we have Tina is 60 and over here is 40. So 60 plus 40 is 100 over here. So this is how you can just make use of this aggregation function over here. We have a lot more aggregation functions over here. So see, I have done some. We have mean. So I'm just going to say mean. And uh, if I just run over here. So in the same way, it is just calculating for this Rahul, Rohini and Tina. So this is my mean over here. Okay. And you can see this. These marks are nothing but of this. If you just, if you're just getting confused over here. So I've just put a print statement over here so that. It will give a space over here so that it would be easy for you all to differentiate it. Okay. So, these marks are nothing but my column. Okay. And this name is uh, the index over here. Okay. So, this name, uh, this is my column over here. And I have just grouped that thing with the uh, respect to the names. And uh, this is providing me the mean. All right. Similarly, the other aggregation functions I have over here is that I can even pass, uh, find out the standard deviation. Okay. So, this is my standard deviation over here and if I just run over here so you can see that it is giving you the standard deviation of those things. So this thing is same as I have told you with respect to the sum. So this Rahul and Rahul so this and this particular thing so the standard deviation of this. Moreover to this you can even find out for the mean and max. So if I just come up over here and if I just want to find out the max all right so I'm just going to say max over there and if i just run this thing so you can see over here now in case of rahul okay so we know that rahul is over here and here so this is my 40 and this is my 50 so it has given you the maximum value over here okay similarly with the rohini you can see so rohini is over here so the maximum value over here is 90 okay so it has given you the 90 and with respect to the tina you can see that tina is over here and tina is over here so 60 and 40 so it has given you 60 okay and similarly, you can just find out for the mean as well. So if I just say dot mean, and it will give you the minimum values in the similar way that we did as for the maximum value. So you can see that uh, this Rahul, okay. So this Rahul is at this 40 and this is at 50. So it has given you this 40 and Rohini is over here. So the minimum value is 40. So it has given you 40. And similar with the T now, so this is 60 and this is 40. So it has given you 40. So this is how you can just uh, work with the group by over here. And uh, once you have done the group by uh, based upon that category, okay, you can just perform this uh, aggregation functions on this thing. And just uh, be conscious that uh, remember this thing that this uh, aggregation function will be only done based upon on the uh, numeric values. All right. So this was about this thing. Okay. Now, most of the time, you won't be doing this thing in a two-way steps, okay? We can just write this entire thing in a single step. So, I'm just going to comment this thing and if uh, I will just say this. And what you can just simply do is you can just say that uh, uh, df, okay, and dot and just say that group by and inside this, just pass the column name. And what you would just want to do is you want to apply some uh, aggregation function. So, say I have to apply this sum over here. And once done with this, what you do simply is uh, you can just say that print, all right. And if I just put this inside my print statement, so this is the exactly the same thing that we were doing. And you can see over here that it has done exactly the thing that we were doing the two steps, okay. We, can, we have even one more method over here is that count, okay. So you can just make use of that thing. So if I just say count, so it will just count uh, the instances inside your data frame so you can just see over here that it says that rahul are two inside okay so uh, rahul is two instance over here similarly rohini is two and tina is two okay and the marks also so we have this aggregation functions too in this case so you can just do this thing in a single step over here i also want to uh, let you guys introduce with one more method that is describe over here okay so this particular describe what is does it, it will give you the multiple calculations okay so you can see over here that uh, it is giving you this uh, result for rahul okay so let's check this for rahul over here so this is our row and you can see that we have uh, in a single uh, method we have got this count we have got its mean we have got a standard deviation we have got its mean 
and all okay so this is 25 percent then 50 percent 75 percent max okay so these are all nothing but with the help of describe you can get all those results for this particular rahul similarly we can you can get fetch the all the results for this rohini and similar with this tina over here like instead for going for the single uh using the single aggregation method at a time all right and uh, you can just even change the format of this if if you just don't want this to be in this way if you just want this uh, uh, name that is rahul rohini and uh, tina uh, as your column name so you can just do that thing with the help of transpose okay and if i just run this thing so you can see over here that now i got the result in that way okay so now rahul rohini and tina are my columns name over here and i can even write if i just want to grab this tina over here so what i can simply do is after this you just write in, inside your square bracket just type the name of that uh, person and if i just do this thing so you can see that now i'm getting the result for only tina over here okay so this is the result for only tina so you can just do this thing over there in a single statement over here. okay so this was about uh, the group by with a single key over here you can even group by with a uh, more than one key so i will just remove this line over here and we'll just understand that step by step so i'm just going to make use of two keys over here in order to just categorize group by okay so i'm just going to say df group by and inside this uh, what i want to do is in, i need to pass the key inside my square brackets all right and here, over here i will just say that name and uh, let's uh, take the another one as subjects okay so these are my subject over here and if i just uh, run this thing so if i just put this thing uh, inside my print statement so it will just uh, give me the object at that particular uh, uh, address memory address all right so this is the data frame group by objects at this thing okay so what i simply want to do is uh, uh, i just want to do uh, do the groups of it so if i just say dot groups now we are just making uh, doing this in a single line because we have already seen okay so you can see that it has created these groups okay based upon the uh, the names and the subject over here so you can see that Rahul and maths okay so this is my Rahul over here and uh, so yeah so this is my Rahul over here and this is the maths okay so it has given that uh, at uh, index one then it has said Rahul and physics so Rahul physics which is at five and similarly it has created for the rest of this thing okay now what i simply want over here is i will just make use of the uh describe okay this that will give me the result for all okay and if i just run this thing so you can see that i got this result over here so i got the count i got the mean i got the standard deviation and uh this 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent maximum values all run right and uh, the uh as you can see that we are getting uh null no value over here so it can't just find out that value for us okay so because standard deviation is not uh applicable for, for this okay because uh you can't find the standard deviation for this thing okay and for the rest of this thing it has given you because we are giving the category uh, uh the grouping uh, based upon the name and the subjects all right and if i just don't want this in uh, in this format what i can do is simply i can just say uh, dot transpose all right and you can see now those will be my uh, this name and rohini and tina will be my columns over here okay so this is how you can just go on with the group by by two keys over here so you can see this thing over here and similarly if you just want to grab rohini so you after this you can just type in a square bracket as rohini all right and this will just give you the results so it will just give you the data frame for that particular thing okay so this is for rohini and, and you can see that uh, for the rohini chemistry and maths marks are available okay so you can see that rohini maths and rohini chemistry over here so this is how you can just make use of this group by in this case and suppose that you don't want to do the transpose over here okay so if you just don't do the transpose okay so i will just remove this thing so it will give you the uh, result that the name would be on the uh, uh, will be your rows okay and if you now want to grab some particular row from here so we know we make use of the log and i log in this case so i'm just going to make use of log okay so i'm just going to say dot log and inside this i will just pass the name as rahul 
and if I just run this thing so you can see that I got this result for the Rahul itself so we have already uh, seen this log I log and all okay so this is how uh, you can just group by so you can see that over here it says that this is for Rahul and you can see that Rahul has maths uh, subject and we have Rahul for physics okay so depending on what these values it is giving you the result over here so I hope you have understood this thing I will just uh, do a quick recap over here so what we have studied over here so what we did is uh, we are making use of the group by over here so group by simply means that so we are just going to create the group of categories and then we are performing some functions over it that is the uh, aggregation functions over it so what you need to do over here is uh, now uh, I have just created a data over here because this is my dictionary and I have created the data frame over here so you can see this thing and I'm just displaying my data frame over here so it gives me the the result like this okay so this is my data and what I did was in the first step was uh, I just uh, passed a single key that is name so I just say that group by by name okay and once done with this so when I just say that uh, group by by name okay so if I just remove this thing so if I just say by name itself and if I just make use of the describe because this will just give me the record for everything so you you saw that it gave me this particular re result for this okay so this Rahul uh, Rohini and Tina it has grouped by that thing and depending upon this uh, subjects okay so the Rahul so Rahul is having subjects as uh, this uh, maths and physics okay so it has calculated this 40 and 50 and uh, uh, the count is calculated and mean and similarly all the other aggregation functions has been calculated for this particular thing so we just uh, group by this and then we applied the, uh, the aggregation function over this and we even saw that how you can just pass the two keys over here and we even saw that uh, if, you, if you are not comfortable with this thing so you can just break this down into two sets okay so two pieces and you can just do it this step by step over here so we are going to explore this thing more uh, while going further in our uh, uh, further tutorial parts okay and uh, if you just like this video so hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching